Hello everyone, welcome back to a brand new series. We're going to be diving into GitHub Copilot app modernization for Java, which is also referred to as app modernization for Java. And it assists with app assessment, planning, code remediation, and it automates repetitive tasks, boosting developer confidence and speeding up the Azure migration and optimization performance. In this workshop, and series of videos, you'll learn how to use GitHub Copilot app modernization to assess and migrate a sample Java application called Asset Manager to Azure. This application consists of two submodules, Web and Worker. Both of them contain functions of using storage service and message queue. To demonstrate the migration process, we have set up a GitHub repository, which has three different branches. There is the source branch. This is the original project before being migrated to Azure service. The main branch with only the web, where only the web module is migrated to Azure service. And this is the branch we'll be using for this workshop. And then there is the expected branch, which is the final expected migrated state for both web and worker. Before starting, let's understand the original infrastructure of the project in the source branch. We use AWS3 for image storage using password-based authentication. We use RabbitMQ for message queuing using password-based authentication. And then we're using PostgreSQL database for metadata storage using password-based authentication. On the screen, you can see a diagram of this original architecture. Now, after migration, our goal is that the project will use the following Azure services as shown in the expected branch. We'll use Azure Blob Storage for, ex for image storage using managed identity authentication. Azure Service Bus for message queuing using managed identity authentic authentication. Azure Database for PostgreSQL for metadata storage using the managed identity authentication. And you can see on the screen the desired migrated architecture. So let's go ahead and dive into this workshop. We'll see how we can go from an old Java application on an entirely different cloud provider and bring it up to speed to modern day on Azure. Before we get started, there are some prerequisites to complete this workshop. And you can find links in the description of this video to get set up. You need the latest version of VS Code, a GitHub account with GitHub Copilot enabled, GitHub Copilot extension in VS Code, AppCat, JDK 21, Maven 3.9.9, .9, and Azure subscription, the Azure CLI should be installed. And finally, you need to fork this GitHub repository, which contains the sample Java application, which we will be using. Once again, all links in the video description below. So you can see we have cloned the repository to VS Code, and we have also set up all of the prerequisites for this workshop. So we'll go ahead and open the app modernization tool for Java and click on Run Assessment. And we'll see on the right side, Copilot is working on it right away to start to generate the report on what potential migration opportunities exist. So we'll go ahead and press Continue to run the assessment application. And we will wait for Copilot to finish. And I'll meet you back here as soon as we have a report to review. All right, so there we have it. We have our nifty little assessment report. In addition, Copilot is generating an overview, a summary of its key findings, such as how the current application is running Java 8, but we can migrate to 11, 17, or 21. It's talking about overall migration opportunities, such as cloud migration, dependency updates, spring boot upgrades, and it concludes with some overall recommendations. In addition, on the left side of the screen, you can see there is a UI with an assessment report. This assessment report is a great way to have a visual on all the steps that need to be taken. So we'll go ahead and actually start the Java version upgrade as the first step in our migration. 
And once again, we can see that Copilot has taken control and it is working to upgrade the full project. So once again, we'll let Copilot do its thing and we will meet back once it is finished working through the entire code base and upgrading it. All right, and there we have it. We can see that Copilot finished upgrading from Java 8 to Java 21. It also upgraded the Spring Boot version, it upgraded some packages, and we get a list of all the files modified. In addition, Copilot also tested all of the changes before giving us the final result. So all we have to do now is hit keep and we can move on to the rest of the migration. Okay, so with our Java version upgraded, we can go back to the assessment report and take a look at next steps. Let's go ahead and work on migrating our PostgreSQL database and we will select the public cloud version for this specific task. We'll click on migrate. And once again, we'll see our nifty little friend Copilot has started working on the issue. So once again, it'll start going through the code. It'll create a plan to migrate and it will also troubleshoot any issues it comes across along the way. I just fast forwarded a little bit, but I really wanted to show off the migration plan summary it is generating. I really appreciate the fact that the tool tells us what it will do before doing it blindly. So this allows us to take any corrective actions or provide additional instructions to Copilot before it starts executing on the plan. So we'll now let it do its thing and we will circle back once it is finished running through all the updates. Okay, I fast forwarded a little bit and we can see that the migration is completed. We also are getting our migration summary of the key changes that were made, such as adding Azure Identity Extension dependencies, an update to the configuration properties, and finally that Copilot built and test all the changes. So we'll go ahead and keep all the updates and we will move on to the next step. All right, so the next step in the process is to create some custom formulas which will allow us to migrate RabbitMQ to Azure Service Bus and migrate S3 to Azure Blob Storage. We can go ahead and go back to the app modernization tool and we will see that there's an option to create custom formula. We'll go ahead and click on that. We'll click on create new formula and search for the commit we want to base the formula off of. We can see the migrate web rabbit MQ to Azure service bus. We will select that, click okay, and follow the prompts to complete creating the custom formula. We will go ahead and give it a name and we will click next and also give it a description. Usually there is one that is auto-generated, so we'll keep it as is. It is now creating and saving the formula and we can see now in the bottom left that the formula was created. We will go ahead and now create the second formula as well, following a lot of the same process, except this time we're choosing S3 to blob storage. We will once again follow the instructions, name our formula and continue through the process. And we can see the formula is being created. And once again, on the bottom left, now we have our second custom formula. We'll go ahead and click on the first formula, which is the rabbit MQ migration and click run. And we can see Copilot is now taking over and working on migrating rabbit MQ to Azure. And we should see shortly that there is a migration plan that is outputted which will help us understand what steps Copilot plans to take. And there we go. We can see the migration plan that Copilot has outputted and we will let Copilot work through this migration and meet back here once it is finished. All right, there we go. We can see that the migration from RabbitMQ to Azure Service Bus completed. We get a summary of the key changes. In addition, Copilot tells us that the code successfully builds and we are ready to move ahead. So we will go ahead and keep all the changes and move on to migrating S3 to Azure Blob Storage. Once again, it'll follow a similar set of steps as it just did for the RabbitMQ migration. So I will skip ahead to once it has completed the migration and we will then move on from there. All right, there we have it. Once again, we have our summary of key changes. 
and that the migration completed successfully and concluded with a successful build. And there you have it. You can see how Microsoft's new GitHub Copilot app modernization tool for Java takes a process that traditionally would take weeks and perhaps multiple employees and condenses it into a fraction of the time using the power of GitHub Copilot. We hope you enjoyed this workshop and we will see you soon. Thank <laughs> you.